Gate 14 podcast. It's just me and Avery. Um, JR, has, JR hasn't answered a message in like two, three days. I, I, I don't know what where he's at. Um, maybe he might have set a fucking Amber Alert out for JR. He's he's gone. But uh, Avery, how you doing, buddy? I see you throwing back beers already. I don't even want to. I don't even want to look at beer right now. I don't even yeah. want to think about beer. Super Bowl Sunday. I'm excited. Um, you had a tough one last night. I'm guessing. JR again. Huh. He's. I texted JR last night. He's alive. Okay. Okay. So we we planned a trip to Mexico. We're going to Mexico. You are. What are you? Money bags. We're going to St. Louis. We're I mean, go your... it's not that expensive. I can't really afford much. But to go to Mexico? to Mexico. Yeah. Uh, we picked pretty much the cheapest place you can go to in Mexico. I think. So right, that you'll should... never catch me going international water. I, 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 Mexico. Where are you staying? Like you got to actually pick a good resort. I feel like in Mexico, you can't be staying at like some fucking dog shit place in the ghetto. Yeah, correct. You got to. Uh, yeah, we found we found a place. We had Mace on it. He found us a place. Talked to the travel agent. Uh, so, so you're staying? Are you that in season when the Jays are playing? Yeah, it's but it'll have Wi Fi. You can watch. Okay. I guess I'll be doing solo pods. No, huh? you won't. You and Craig Ballard, man. You don't. No, stop it. Stop that. Um, you can get some better well, people on, but no, there's a again. There's a couple things that happened this week. Some funny stuff that happened. Well, uh, Arash like, is gone. This is yeah. Arash is gone. Like this is the this is like the least news week ever for Toronto Blue Jays. Like, well, we had Bo. No, I mean, the bow. I guess yeah, cool, but like. You know it's bad when the biggest news for the Toronto Blue Jays is Arash Madani not getting called the called back, get immediately snipped. And I got duped, by the way. So Alejandro Kirk memes posted a uh, tweet from Arash saying, like, I got cut. I Something like, I got cut from um, Blue Jays broadcast means more time for hot dogs on Looney Night. Excited for <laughs> Looney Night. And I was like... I scrolled back on Arash's Twitter trying to find it. I was like, did he actually tweet this? And I got duped. Yeah. Who I it, I got duped and I I feel like a Arash has to kind of lean into this, right? Like he should just lean in and be like, Yeah, I got shit canned. You think Arash is like a big humor guy? Uh, he doesn't it, I don't clearly know. not. <laughs> like Yeah, I guess he, that's true. Can't, you did call Arden Zwelling electric on TikTok and I'm a two times at the letters listener now. Second time uh, this week, 5 a.m. Friday. Yeah. They're not electric. Both of those guys. Well, I, no, I, well, we're, we're electric. We're electric. I, yeah. There's there's some different things. I can't tell the difference between Ben and Arden. Yet. Me neither. I, I I need them to wear name tags. I, I know that. Well, they I need, look I need like voice notes like, hey, this is Arden talking. This is Ben talking. They I, should announce it. I can't tell the difference. And I haven't watched on YouTube. So I really listening to them it sounds like a one-person podcast and just an absolute master class of them talking the whole time and the one thing about at the letters that irks me right now is one of them ben or arden i don't know because i don't know the difference between them they're always like uh we could go into this like it'd be a full long podcast but i don't want to do that they say like eight times a podcast just talk about it for fuck's sakes like you guys are smart i want to hear you talk about it and then they went into this kind of off the cuff stuff I think they should stick to reporting. They're good at the reporting stuff. Yeah, and then... let uh, leave leave that with us. Leave yeah. the off the cuff. And for example, off the cuff stuff. I guess we can go into it. So yesterday, for those of you that don't know, I'm in Las Vegas right now. Um, I went to my buddy's wedding. My college roommate. Congrats, Chase and Chelsea, by the way. And um, I I never hope to get as drunk as I got last night ever again. So I'll give you a little story. So. We get there. I start drinking at like 10, 11 a.m., obviously. And the wedding the w- dangerous. The wedding starts at six. So we get to the venue at like one. And these dumb, these fucking wedding coordinators were like, we, we, you guys can't start drinking yet. And you can't bring your own booze. Or you're going to get a $500 fine. And we're going to take it all away. So we just had no booze for like the first three hours. like, And then we were just chilling, just like jerking each other off, I guess. And then they finally brought us booze. We go to the ceremony. So I'm, I'm in the wedding party. So I was like on the altar and stuff like i was kind of dead sober but once they open the floodgates i uh, i'm not even <laughs> exaggerating to you i probably had 35 to 40 beers but this is the funniest story though not 40 beers sorry 40 drinks but this is the funniest story and people listen like i'm not a weed guy 
Okay. So for for the people listening to this podcast, no, I don't smoke weed. I fucking hate weed. I think it's like just the dumbest drug ever because it just doesn't do anything to you. It just makes you really tired. So my buddy Dave hands me. <laughs> so this is how you know I'm really fucked up because I was just like, whatever. I tried to be a beauty. So he hands me this pen. <laughs> Uh, this weed pen, and I take the biggest monster hit of all time of this weed pen, and um, I, I immediately. Uh, this is how I know I was gonna sketch out right off the bat because everyone at the table is like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Everyone's like, whoa, dude. I mean, you're whoa. not gonna overdose on it, Jesus. Well, I know, I understand, not gonna overdose. So this is, well, this is like a fucked up part. So I just immediately start hacking up along in the middle of ceremony. I have to run to the bathroom, and um, like. I come back and I'm like, whatever. I, I go mute. Like Nolan and Bryson, like Nolan Kingham and Bryson thought they were at the table with me and they were like, dude, why aren't you talking? Like, you're just not talking. Like, you're just standing there. And then uh, apparently what I said was, I said, I'm just admiring your guys' conversation. I just, I, I, nothing was coming through my head. Like, I was sitting there and they're having conversations in my head. I'm having it with them. Like, I'm just shooting the shit with them. I didn't say a word for like half of the wedding. I was just fucked up table. I go to the bathroom because there's like a change room where we were all chilling in. Like it's like a change room type of thing. And I go to the bathroom and I just get not naked, but like half naked. And I just sit on the shitter and nothing is coming. I'm just like dry heaving, just naked in the bathroom, just dry heaving. And Keanu, my buddy got a video of me looking in the mirror, my hands on the thing. And I'm looking at myself with my eyes, bloodshot red. We need this video. And I am looking at myself and saying, you are not high. And I was just on Mars. I I will never smoke. I It makes me sick that that's an actual I, thing. Dude, I was kind of in the same spot. I wrote my first gravity bong. I was like freshman year of freshman year of college. And I remember just, just profusely sweating the first time. I was just sitting there looking at nothing and just sweating my ass off. But that... I mean, every time you drink and smoke, I, it's just like a guaranteed puke. Like, it's just. Yeah, and I didn't puke. I was dry heaving. Like, I, and the fuck thing is, though, is because they all knew I'm not a weed guy and they knew that I was going to be like, they're, they were going to, they knew that they were going to keep staring at me and laughing. So it made me sketch out even more. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Like, please get out of this high. Like, I kept saying to myself, like, I will never smoke weed again. I'll never smoke weed again. Just please start feeling normal. Is this normal your, again. your buddy Dave, who's the three um, sick emojis on Twitter? Yes. Yes. You're yeah. you have an all time crew that you run with down there, man. And yeah. the fucking the swings heard around the world. Your yeah. little, your little fucking uh BP I, there. Those also you hit them hard, they didn't go past second base though. No, it was it was line drives in the gap. That yeah. I'll tell you what, and for the crowd that was saying like Johnny, uh, do you, do these guys even fucking play baseball for Watch that video. I can't stop watching it. I was, I, that, that's the best my swing has ever looked. I, I, I don't know. And maybe you could talk about this on a third party perspective. What did you think of the swing? Cause I might be biased. I think it was inc- like those swings were nice. I, I remember you playing baseball, like playing against you. I never knew like your name. I knew you as farmer Johnny. That's yes. what they used to call you. Like when we would play against each other. I don't yeah. know. I'd always like remember the other people. So I knew what you swung like. There's bat speed there. There's always been bat speed there. People know that. And you people fucking and you didn't play much in JUCO. I bet you were the king of hitting it off the tee and looking awesome. I bet. No, hundred percent. Like, so that, who took who took the video for you? So <laughs> Bryson's like was legit training, like off season training, and then you could see him behind me with his hitting coach. And yeah, I saw and that. Dave, me and Dave are just like fucking around in the other cage. So, <laughs> so Nolan Kingdom. Ran it up to 95. He was throwing, he took plays with the Braves. He was throwing um, lies to Bryson. And I will say this it is fucking absurd how these guys can turn on this shit. Like, Nolan was throwing 95 on the black. Bryson just spits on it and just launches like 110 below to second base. I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, I, I don't know how these dudes hit it. And, and I was saying to my buddies, I was like, imagine watching like Gossman or like DeGrom or Scherzer throw a live bullpen right in front of you and you're behind the screen. Like I was watching Nolan King. Imagine watching fucking those guys. It's insane yeah. what these guys could do. It There's, really is. So I sent you a video of that Juco, Juco guy from the same Juco that um, Nate Pearson went to, College of Central Florida, I believe. Yeah. And then there's another guy in that same game. He was a top Juco pitcher, throwing like 99 and a wipeout slider. It's like, how, 
like it looks hard from far like 30 feet behind the fence let alone just being in the box 60 feet six inches away it looks it looks impossible and, and Mitch I, told us he was like yeah there's just no way you'd ever get a hit and i asked bryson and i was like when at what speed does it get for big leaguers where it's like this is fast as fuck like i i can't like i, I just kind of praying at the plate and he was like 97 plus you're kind of just you're just kind of pr- like you're praying but the craziest thing about bryson is his stats against like degrom and scherzer he's hitting like 450 off those guys Jesus. which is crazy like it's insane I mean, i'm gonna have to I, stat check that I, look look he fucking he he's i mean he, he's uh I believe you. I just want to know the real numbers. Yeah, no, his stats are, are crazy with it. But um, what, what was it? Uh, yeah, like, I, I can't believe it. Like, just seeing 95 up close like that is is crazy. Like, like wh- inside it, it almost looks faster, too. It wasn't inside, though. We were on U- the UNLV field. Oh, okay. okay yeah, so okay. we did lives there. So, I, and Br- yeah. so Bryson pitched, and I just absolutely shot on a baseball off Bryson. <laughs> like, he threw me... He was telling me what he was going to throw, and he wasn't throwing hard by any means. Um, but yeah, I, l- let me Facetime. Let me let me let me get him on the. Fa- I, I want him to comment on this. But he, um, I don't know. Is if there a video of you shitting on him? Yeah, he's hitting eight fifty seven against Scherzer. That's what I'm saying, bro. And yeah, he's hitting three thirty three against Degrom. Bryson, can you can you hear this, Avery? No, say something, Bryson. Yes. I I you're on you're on the gate for it. I need you to comment. Did I launch a baseball off you? One thirty, gone at Williamsport. <laughs> he said, "Gone at Williamsport." All right, I was pumping your tires there. Then you just immediately throw me under the bus. That's cool. That's cool, Bryson. Yeah, it, was, it was peace though. Maybe like uh, ninety eight off the bat. Some see you hear that, Avery? Ninety eight okay. off the bat. Thank you, Bryson. I appreciate that. I'll text you after this, and we'll uh, we'll figure something out. Easy, but yeah, um. I'm that guy. So the people I wish I that mean, got on video. You got you got a Georgetown Goats offer right away after the swing came out. Yeah. No, I, we'll see what happens with that. I, I just don't want to fucking play baseball. Dude. No, you don't want to play baseball. I, have, I, I haven't swung a bat in three years and my entire body like I work out every day. My entire body was sore. Like it's like if you don't if you don't swing a bat for that long, there's body part there's parts of your body you don't use. And I'm like my forearms, which get me wrong, I use my forearms. Those who know, know, were in shambles. I couldn't even like my my torso. Everything was in shambles. So baseball players out there, I mean, you guys are doing that shit right. But Avery what's still the, hasn't. Re- what's the uh, mes- the What's the uh, muscle that Stanton hurts all the time? Like your obliques. Like, yeah, I always feel like if I don't play a lot, it's just my lats and shit hurts so fucking bad. Yeah, no, it, it, it it's crazy. But I guess we can go into Blue Jays talk now. I mean. Bo Bichette and the Jays, like, I think people luckily know that we were fucking around when we were saying, like, bye-bye Bo and shit like that. We were just making funny references. They are, I mean, I guess him and Shapiro, like, his agents and Shapiro now are, like, good, but he's still going to be a free agent after three years. Like, it's not like he signed a, a Atlanta Braves type of deal that's, like, a little bit past his free agency, right? No, for for me, it was always, hey, if we're going to do this ARB shit every year where they have to dunk on each other every time, that's never like no one wants to go through with that. So ARB, I'm almost positive. I mean, I don't, I'm not an expert on this shit. They cap how much more you can make every year. So the Jays kind of just got in front of that three years and just paid up for what he would make. If Boba Shett wins his ARB case, it's like it sends shockwaves through the whole league. What they were saying, like Bobby Witt, those type of guys who are young, even Bryson Stott. Like if Bo Bichette won that case against the team, it was going to be big for young players everywhere. And obviously the MLB didn't want that. So it was nice <clears> of them. <throat> multifaceted things where it works out for everyone at this point. But again, you don't have to worry about Bo for these three years, which is something you didn't want to have to deal with. Again, he said he thought he was a special case in arbitration. He thought he should be getting more money, that type of thing. Clearly they filed that way, but I think it's a good even point for these two. We don't have to worry about Bo. I don't know. We don't it's really not like see... we got a deal though. Like it's not like the Chase got a deal. No, but you don't you just don't have to worry about it. And that was the one our main thing was hey, if the these two sides don't like each other, it's gonna be tough to make a free agent deal at one point. So you see a little bit of goodwill between the two getting a getting a deal done, and then maybe next year start to negotiate a longer deal, see how that works out. So I'm happy with how it got done. I think people should be happy with how it got done, and then we get some more worry free years, I think. 
Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's not like the people saying the Jays got a deal. Like they didn't get a deal. Like they. <laughs> I could be wrong. That maybe they did get a deal. Paying no, 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 there. no. I don't think they really got a deal. But at but, that point, for a player like Bo, you don't need a deal. Like you're, true. he's he's underpaid already. Because if he went to the free agent market right now, he'd be making twenty five plus million dollars a year. Right? Which is like, the fuck thing about baseball, to be honest. Like you don't really get paid till you're twenty eight, which is fucking absurd. Mm-hmm. It's absurd. Well, you have to be good up until you're 28, too, right? Like, yeah. Tim Mesa is going to be 31, 32. He's not a free agent for, like, another year. So it's you have to get in the big leagues young to be able to make huge money in your prime. And it, it really benefits the great players, and it's tough to benefit, like, those middle-of-the-pack guys. Yeah. I So let's talk about that other guy. You you made a pretty sick video, and I looked at that guy's stats, and it's pretty good that the Jays signed from the uh, – was he on the Rays and Yankees? He was a Yankee and a Ray last year, so he's just going to play for every AL East team, it seems What's like. his name? Uh, Luke Bard, Daniel Bard's brother. What do you think of him? I, I mean, that well, video I you just, posted – So for me, it was someone else posted that he had 99th percentile spin rate, <laughs> so I went, on pitch, I went on pitcher list and looked at all his other numbers. He said pretty good numbers, but – it's been a whole retooling of the bullpen in all like all levels. So like the triple A bullpen is really fucking good. Same with the major league bullpen. So it's not we're bringing up shit bums like also really weird that Matt Gage they just let him go. There's yeah, like, what what's going on there? That is that guy have some sort of allegations? Like what? I don't know. Matt Gage was like fine when he came up, I thought. Maybe the numbers might say differently, but from the eyeball test from what I remember, I was like Okay, Matt Gage is in the game. Like, this is okay. I remember he pitched in the White Sox series at one point. So weird that he came out. But then Luke Bard, he didn't play that much in the big leagues last year, but he was 99th percentile spin rate on his fastball, 92nd spin ra- percentile spin rate on his slider, 96th on his cutter. So it's just yeah. finding guys that we talked about the Orioles. I remember last year, it's like, how do they find these guys off the street and they just come in, throw 99, super high spin rate, super tough to hit? And I think the Blue Jays front office finally – look at themselves and be like, okay, we need to do something like that as well. And like all the Fernandez guys that they picked up who throw harder than shit. Um, yeah. You got Nate Pearson who might be on the team. Guys who throw really hard. They they went, dug deep, found some gems as well. And then Alex Reyes just signed with the Dodgers as well, which He's is someone the Jays were linked to. But he signed for $1.1 million. There's got to be something wrong with him. Yeah. I know he had shoulder injuries as well, and he won't play the first couple months, but I think there's something wrong with him, the reason he only got that much money. All right, so JR is going to join now. Let's pretend that we just didn't even, like, we've just been waiting for him. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Well, well, well. Well, well, fucking well. The boys. 20 minutes late. Yeah, we've just been sitting here, Jay. We've just been sitting here waiting. No, you haven't. Yes. No. All you right, guys we're, fuck, the we're, we're fucking with you. We already started. So what's up, JR? I mean, fuck no, you. Got, guys, let's nice... just say the fucking, fucking mind was all over the place. Super Bowl Sunday, fucking scrambling. Are you my... on Xanax right now? Are you on Adderall right now? Your hands are in like Mars. What are you no, doing? I think, let me guess what Jared did today. Yeah. I'll start. You woke yeah. up at 5 a.m. because you're fucked. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I did. Okay. So then he woke up at 7. He slept in late today. Um. <laughs> He drank a coffee, had breakfast for like three hours in the morning <laughs> and did some work. Now he started working out at like 1245 <laughs> and the workout went a little late. You can tell he just showered because he's rushing right now. Yeah. And that's where we're at. Yeah. That's, so you're that's close. You're close. So I worked. The workout is correct. I then was watching NFL. Pre- like I was fully prepared. Ready. I worked out to be ready for the pod. And then I was watching NFL Network, and I didn't even think of the pod. And then I just showered, and I was downstairs with not my phone. And then I just looked, and I saw twenty five minutes ago. Hell yeah, you guys ready to go? So see what I don't what? understand is how do you how do you just not have your phone on you? Like I would be dead without my phone. Like dead. My screen time is alarming, and oh, we'll talk screen. about that later. What's your what's your, what's your screen time, Jr? Look at your phone. My right screen now. time is. I I literally saw nine hours this morning, so my screen time. Oh, is, what the is, fuck! So you okay? No, mine's it's rare. 12. It's rare. It's rare that I don't have my phone. Like it was. It was super rare that I didn't. How have do you my check phone. screen time? Because mine's gonna be fucked. Too. Oh, here it is. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually, Your I'm not, has to be double digits. No, well, gonna, let, let, let us guess. Let us guess. I no, I'm not gonna turn it. I'm not gonna turn it on. I'm not gonna turn it on. I don't want to know. Oh, you don't want to know? I, I see. I like knowing. Like 
Mine was 12 hours and 45 minutes, and it was down 11%. Yours was what? Did I stutter? It's 12, 12 hours? hours. Oh my god. You think God. growing this That's podcast ridiculous. is easy? I'm I'm just I'm hammering out tweets of random shit. Vladdy Vladdy hitting home runs in May. I did a Ricky Tiedemann video today. I am just Oh, I haven't this turned shit. it on yet. It can't show my other activity. Yeah, it, it's not if you have if you don't have it turned it on, it's not it's not going to Yeah, I'm turning it off. Like. I hate that shit. I know I'm on my phone 19 hours a day. It is it is fucking dumb when it comes across you and you're just like what is this going to do? I yeah. see the thing is I know I can turn it off. But no, I just yeah. refuse to because I like I'm so used to getting that notification on Sunday and being like, you're Johnny probably Wood. a sick fuck and you enjoy it. I do enjoy the more hours it's like collecting <laughs> fun tokens. It is like maybe you guys can answer this in the comment section of the YouTube and stuff like that. Maybe tweet at us. I want to see our listeners screen time because our listener age yeah. is probably like 16 to 24 Ave, around that age. Probably. Yeah. I would love to know if I am just a if I need a fucking alcohol anonymous version of my phone where I'm just I, I need to be sobered up with it. I want to see if people's are like crazy like that. They they have to be. And the thing with the screen time is when I'm not on my phone, I'm on another screen. So I'm that, like that's the thing. Yeah. I'm a hundred percent of the day on the screen, pretty much. So mm-hmm. you think you think realistically your screen time is let's say sixteen hours a day, seventeen 100%. hours a day? I drive two hours to work and after that I'm on a screen the whole day. Like I drive an hour to work, an hour back. So let's also, say 10 I'm on my hours phone probably fifty percent of the time on my drive. Like if we're being honest, and we don't, we don't. That's support not. That. That's we can't. Rightfully say that. so. I, we don't. I if you're a cop, I do just watch soccer ears. games while I'm driving. That, first time, that is first time I met Johnny, we went to the Jays game. That was when he used the T-shirt to wipe off his window because it was raining and little. That was awesome. First, and then we just watched the Mets Cardinals. On wow, his, like he was driving. watching it on the dash. And actually, I think Alex Reyes has lost that game for me because I had the Cardinals, if I remember correctly. I remember I'm like the rain man of remembering my losing bets. I just I remember all of them. So, yeah, that's definitely probably what happened. But, boys, we are getting fucking close, man. Pitchers and catchers report this week, man. This fucking week. We don't have to make fucking videos and me making TikToks of the broadcasting crew. <laughs> now it's going to be reaction videos, the vlogs, the nine by nine we're going to be doing that I want to talk about, by the way, by the way, Avery. My I'm mom told me I, I I'm not allowed to piss my pants in the Roger Center. She was That's like, "What is?" She was up. like, "What is this about?" I was like, "I, I don't know." I and then she's like, she was talking about the tweet. I can't. You can't piss your pants in public like that. Yes, you can if you're wearing <laughs> black <laughs> pants. What are people gonna do? There, you're not. We're not gonna be leaving our seat. But the shitty thing about us is this is like a cocky bright. There's going to be a crowd with us when we're doing the nine by nine. Like that's that's just a guarantee. I think it has to be in the Corona Lounge. The nine by nine, that's going to be so expensive. The Corona Lounge is going to be, that's going to be like a million dollars for, for nine <laughs> beers and nine hot dogs. That It's a business expense. We can write it yeah, off for we taxes. we can expense the company even though we're down money. So it'd just be debt. <laughs> We'd just yeah. be expensing debt. That's I right, want to yeah. accumulate gate 14, the most amount of debt anywhere in the world and just not pay, just like go somewhere else. The number one, yeah, like, listen, it's going to be, I think it's, we're, the Toronto Blue Jays podcast with the most debt. Like that's just something like the most electric and the most debt Blue Jays podcast. Yeah. I'll never forget like me having to use some random app to deliver fucking shirts around Ontario. Like you, to get a, you, to get a said, you told me when you told me we're a thousand dollars in the hole, I, I fell to my knees in the office. In, like, in a how did this happen? <laughs> I complete le- misjudgment <laughs> on price of the shirts. But that's just the game 14 difference. And we'll do it again and again if we have to. We'll do well, it again and again. We can't do it that many times, but that is the gate 14 difference. 100%. Like, I just remember stop, like stopping by people's houses and like the mother or the like the dad being on the porch. Like, who the fuck is this guy dropping off a thick <laughs> Jesus shirt to me right now? <laughs> like, oh, you, oh, oh, you're that podcast my son listens to. Yeah, sorry. Like, we, I know you're probably used to seeing UPS drop this off but i'm just in a sonata with by the time no heater ac drenched in sweat dropping off thick jesus shirts across ontario like i went everywhere i went all the way from like scarborough to fucking stratford ontario i was in i i it was a, it was a you, you no you you took one for the boys on that that yeah. was yeah, that, that was, was huge but we won't fuck that up again yeah well we're if someone is in uh accounting undergrad feel free to reach out yeah, no, we we have a whole, we, it would be it nice would be to have nice an accountant, to have maybe someone who could yeah. do our taxes as well. Yes, <laughs> just someone that free, could though. deal with our cash flow and inventory levels, please. If yes. you're in accounting and want to be part of the boys, like, you know what? We we'll make it. We'll, 
We'll make it. We, well, no, what we're going to do You can be the head of finance. C- yeah, head of finance. That's CFO. CFO. You can be CFO. That's a huge So, yeah, position. so reach out to us. Send us your grades. And the thing is with us, though, is I don't want guys' grades to be too good. So if you're like a honor roll type of student listening to this podcast and, like, you want to be our accounting guy, you could put CFO of Gate 14 in your bio. That's fine. I want your grades to be, like, a little bit like middle of the pack so if, so we can have some funny stories of you fucking shit up and we so can like, just ream you out on this podcast so if you have over an 85 average don't even put your name in. yeah don't even think about it just <laughs> imagine someone fucking putting that shit on their resume and it's like what did you do there and it's like i managed a negative fucking 500 hundred dollar budget <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what we're gonna do like because obviously, I mean, I'm fired up for this shit, man. Because like this season's gonna be sick. There's gonna be so many. I think the difference is gonna be like if the Jays come out with a good saying, like a funny saying or whatever, we'll be able to hammer that out on a T-shirt in like two seconds. Just put mm-hmm. it up, which is gonna be sick. Like the yeah. I love Hazel May shirts is gonna ha- they're gonna have to get made. Those would go legit fucking nuts. The I love Hazel May, but like the thing is, can we get C- can we get sued for that? Like or got, maybe would no if you if you adjust her name so it doesn't actually spell her name, you're fine. I mean what. It- you could say it's not her. I mean, what are they going to just make you? her last name M A Y? Yes, I love Hazel May. And yes. then, but I'm technically, sure you could you... you could use her name though. You could use her name because there's a million Hazel Mays on the yeah, planet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you just like replace the A with a heart, like it, <laughs> you can't, you can't. I, like sue. the I love New York shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I think that's how they get around it. The, uh, yeah, well, Barstool just does a shit ton of illegal. They they just get cease yeah. and desists. If we right? get yeah. a cease and desist letter this year, I'd be pumped. Well, no, I'd frame it. I'd seriously frame a cease and desist. But <laughs> like the I love Hazel May shirts would go crazy. I'd probably who would they send game. it to if we got a cease and desist? They would send yeah that's to like our CFO. Good. <laughs> to our CFO, yeah, our new CFO. Imagine like a Humber third year student just getting a season to success <laughs> from the Toronto Blue Jays. Holy we fuck. have an emergency meeting to talk about yeah, it. It's like, listen, guys, um, I dressed the nation. I'd wear a suit. We got season to assist. Hazel may suit us. <laughs> Hazel may has and Blair and Blair and Barker has sued us. But Blair. yeah, I hate um, that Blair and Barker are back. Those fucking losers, man. Yeah, they, they, I uh, listen, I'm, I, I respect Blair and Barker. They're just They're fair weather friend. fans. Oh yeah, they they weren't grinding in the off season. They were enjoying Cabo while we're out here pumping content. I mean, that's that. It just they Wait, isn't Parker married to Hazel May. Yes, you just can't well, we pick need... and choose when to when when to podcast about the Blue Jays. It's it's mm-hmm. a it's a weekly thing, no matter what time of the year, and that's what we've been doing. We were not, like, you can't just come back, Blair and Barker. No, mm-hmm. <laughs> you left us, buddy. All yeah. right, it's it's our time. I I could just imagine, like, could you imagine? I'm assuming somewhere down the road it will happen that like a network comes up to us and it's like we want your podcast or never, but you're gonna have to like just not swear and keep it clean. I would, I don't think there's a dollar the dollar value that we could do that. That would just be the most misingenuous podcast ever, right? I think if they told me and you we couldn't swear and they told Jer he couldn't say like, we wouldn't be able to podcast anymore. It'd be like <laughs> three, four, full episodes of the show of us just swearing and. Chair saying like it's yeah, just like, exactly. it, it can't go. And on. what's the deal here? Like, Mama Tiedemann likes all of our tweets. She's, about Ricky. she's online. She's oh, she online. is online. Yes. And I tweeted at her that I would sacrifice my life for her son. Didn't get a like. What's up with that? Mm. But you yeah. like might have been she, too much. Yeah, whatever. I would sacrifice my life for him, though. He is he is that dude. I but... sent you guys the video of them chanting "Big Dick Rick" at Ricky Fowler. Yeah, the, we uh, will be doing management. that at the Rogers Center. When that gets going at the Rogers Center, bury me. And there. I and but and if I hear another Blue Jays podcast try to take credit for Big Dick Rick, none are. I am going to go nuclear on on Twitter because yeah. we have been saying that f- since literally I think his first year in the minors, maybe. Like the well, thing, we didn't have a show when that happened, but well, sorry, okay, second year. I forgot he's been in the only minors for two years, yeah. but yeah, he is. Uh, he's special. He is. He's something serious, man. But. Another thing is, what is more toxic on this planet? Guys that go back to their ex-fucking-girlfriends or boyfriend or these Calvin Biggio people that continue to say he's going to have a four-war season and that he's going to have a resurgence. We've been waiting for this for two years now. It's He's done. It's not coming back, okay? It's it's over. It's This is an Addison Barger show now. Well, he's going to be a great Kansas City Royal. That's the thing. I think Calvin Biggio can be good. 
I think he can be decent. I'm not going to go good. I'm going to say he could be decent. I think he could be a good major league player. You just throw him somewhere shitty, though. And just let him get reps. Like, give him to the A's. He's he's a guy who, when he played every day, was pretty good. And that was the 2020 season that was shortened, right? And then after that, we gave him the chance. didn't go so well. Then he had to bring in reinforcements. And then he just continues to drop down the depth chart. It's... It is not a favorable place for him to be anymore. I don't think. Where he's not playing. Yeah. I mean, he if he, he hits. He showed flashes of a, in a 60-game season. And what? You got to think a real season's triple that almost. So maybe he would have declined that year as well. Who knows? It was just the one season being that year is weird. And tough I mean, to gauge on future value because of that one season. I mean, Trevor Bauer won a Cy Young that year. I mean, that. Yeah, goes to we show should just you. throw that year out. Yeah, we really should. And the Jays making and the take down the banner. Ah, oh, yeah, we got to talk about the banner, boys. The, it, I'm pretty sure it's confirmed the Jays will be having a wild card banner again. Um, yeah. Do we boo? Because that's gonna probably be an opening day. Like, I might boo. I might like seriously boo when they unveil that unveil that banner. I don't think they unveiled it last time though. It was just there, right? Oh, they kind of like, like snuck it in. Yeah, because they took yeah. Roberto Alomar out. Yeah, Herbert, and I guess we'll just put a uh, wild card banner up there to replace Robbie Alomar. But uh, going back to Arash, w- what are your feelings about that? I mean, I'll, I don't hate Arash. Like, everyone fucking hate. Like, our whole TikTok comments was good. Fuck Arash. And then obviously you had the political people saying, thank God he was too liberal. Like, those people make me sick that just always talk politics. And I will say this. A lot of people probably think that I'm a politics guy. I'm not. I, well, I don't think people think that. I just think, and this is maybe a saying here. That maybe you guys can agree with. I think both sides of the uh, politics are fucked. Like the the left, I guess you could call them, and the right. This isn't a political podcast. I think both of them are fucked. I hate politics. I will never get into it. I will never discuss it. But I just want to make that clear that the people commenting liberal shit or just lib all this stuff on our TikToks about a rash, I hate you and you're a fucking loser. If I, I started, agree with it. I started getting into uh, politics recently. I don't know what left and right, what side those are. That's the type of politics I like. I think the right is. It doesn't matter to me. I don't want to know. I, the only reason why I know the left is the de- is democratic is because of. See, I don't uh, even know what that means. Of Trump saying the radical left. That's the only way I know because he talks shit about the left. So that's the Democrat and the right. I, I, this isn't a poll. This isn't a. This isn't a thing. But we've got to give our credit. Here. I mean. I know. Let me talk about a rash. Let me talk about a rash. Yeah, talk about a rash. Talk about a rash. So they were saying that he made the Latin players uncomfortable and stuff like that. I don't remember anything about that, but I think it's I it's kind of funny. Like he didn't lose his job, also. So there's so stop saying that, people. Stop saying that. So Chris Black came out and was said he's going to block people for saying that he lost. I'm pretty sure he still works for Sportsnet. So he does. Yeah. So he's okay. He still got a job. But I thought a rash was awesome because you would see him and I would be immediately a little mad. And it just like it <laughs> boiled my blood a little bit. And I'm like, I, I don't like a rash that much. He didn't really ask good questions. I didn't think <laughs> he didn't get to the bottom of a lot of interesting stuff that wasn't just like on the surface stuff. And I, I don't know about Arden Dwelling and what he'll do, but me neither. But I think he's electric. I just said that just to say it. Um, <laughs> so I'm. I uh, sorry, Arash is gone. It was it we're was gonna funny we'll, to we'll, see. We'll, we'll dedicate this episode to him. What yeah, should we call the, it? The episode's Goodbye, gonna be Arash about forever. N- I mean, not forever. Um, but we'll say the title will have to be something about Arash. And I know uh, Chris Churchill is gonna make a good thumbnail about Arash Madani. Arash, sure. yes, we got. I think we it's sent, the least we like, could do. Arash Madani being sent to like jail would be a good thumbnail for this. I think. Oh no, I think Arash being like sent to timeout. Like him, like in like a preschool classroom, like in the corner on like a little chair would be funny. <laughs> I think that would be funny. Like you're in timeout. So I don't, I never really, I hate new, like the media. So if I'll, I'll watch the Super Bowl today, I will mute when they have the talking heads talk before the game and give so the predictions. Yeah. Like I don't think they add anything. And that's why podcasting does so well because you don't want to hear those type of people. Like when Gronk's on the broadcast in those, like Terry Bradshaw or whatever, I will I will mute it every single time. I don't think they add anything to it. And Arash is kind of in that thing for me. I would just see Arash be like, hey, Arash, that shirt's a little too tight. 
Like it's that's not kinda, a little too tight. It's that's tight. like that's kind of funny to look at, and then I would just mute him and just go on with my day. It's like he's like a walking, and this is no disrespect, of course. He's a walking, talking SNL skit. That's the, like, that's the only way. And then a fan told a funny story on her TikTok about why they hit a rash. They're like, "Fuck a rash, Madani." Uh, we were there at batting practice with my son, and a ball went into a rash's feet. And we were screaming a rash, a rash, a rash. He looked at the ball, looked at us, and walked away. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. That is. It could also just be a lie, though. It could be a lie, but I, I, I'm under the people impression no one lies on TikTok. No. But uh, yeah, yeah, another thing we'll talk about. This is uh, like, like I said, I'm not a politics guy. We got to give our congrats to John Tory for fucking. Did you guys see that story? I laughed out loud. It. <laughs> I mean, imagine a guy just getting tossed out of office for getting a little ass. Yes. It, listen, if it was consensual, which I hope it was, I'm sure oh, it was. If it's not, then he should go. To you got to tip your cap, right? <laughs> yeah. Like what? He's 70 and she was he's 31. 70 and he's laying pipe. I mean, tip your cap to John Tory, man. <laughs> uh, he had, oh, but it wasn't a fair. Um, I'm it assuming so his wife won't agree see, with it. It but. is so funny to see the Rob Ford clips of him saying he has more than enough pussy to eat at home. And that's why he didn't hook up with the greatest to ever do it, man. <laughs> the greatest to ever fucking do it. I, I don't know anything about politics, but I just know every single time that that motherfucker was on a mic. It oh, like must just, listen. Just him lying about smoking crack. <laughs> like I never smoke crack. And there's like a clear video of him just ripping an office, just like crack cocaine is that's why Toronto, it's just like the most random shit ever that this shit has. It's just, it's electric. What do you think about John Tory, Jer? I, it was it was kind of shocking, but it's uh, it's an interesting fucking situation. I can't believe like at his age, like this happened. Like it's <laughs> like you think that they just know better. Like this guy's life is probably just ruined now. Like imagine you're the yeah, to, to resign. Imagine, imagine having his... to resign for fucking. Imagine if that's the case, kids, Avery should have resigned like, a month ago. <laughs> Come on, man. Imagine his kids. <laughs> well, the issue is, is you can't, uh, the so- other side is you can't lecture people on doing shit, and then he's having an affair on the side with an but employee. if it was consensual, congrats on the sex. Maybe he wasn't getting any at home. I mean, Rob Ford got tons of it at home. <laughs> that's he, the thing is, like, uh, at home. is uh, fuck, I guess Toronto mayors, man, they're just, they're just something every time. Can we start the Arash for Mayor of Toronto yeah. campaign? Maybe Arash. We will should slide be, in there. I'll, I'll be your fucking. I'll be one of the guys leading the charge for you, Arash. Let's get Arash in the. Let's get Arash in the booth. Yeah, there. let's get Arash in the Oval Office, man. He would do a fucking spot up job, dude. He would. I mean, he would just if you like, he would ban Kirk Cousins jerseys. Like you, 100%. if you had a Kirk Cousins jersey, you're done. It's an it's an automatic arrest. I would but, love to see Arash on the mic during COVID. Like just oh every day, just he was us. probably spitting. He was spitting on that mic. With I, COVID. I'm gonna miss a rash, man. Fuck. It's gonna be weird not to see him. Like you know, what I'm saying, like this is the picture of him. Like that's always implemented in my brain because memes tweeted it. It's like it's just him like this with like a really tight suit, and he's just like the and his glasses. By the way, that's not talked about. Are they not the biggest glasses ever that he wears? <laughs> his glasses just look like they cover up three quarters of his face, and he's just like this. And he's trying to talk to Teo usually or trying to talk to Vlad. And they're just like, who the fuck is this guy? But the rumor that he made the Latin players uncomfortable is so goddamn funny. That is. I would love. Hilarious. Can people just tweet their favorite Arash quotes at us? Yes. I, w- I will retweet them. We will. I will do a Instagram post kind of of all the best Arash quotes or Arash clips of him making people uncomfortable to try and get him a job somewhere else. Like, hey. Arizona Diamondbacks. Hey, Miami Marlins. You see this yes. guy? He's going to be awesome for your team. Exactly. No, exactly. But boys, I mean, it's Super Bowl Sunday here. I'm in Vegas. Let's. I, I guess we should talk about this right now. What, what do you got? JR, I know you're not a big gambling guy, but when you do throw irons in the fire, you throw irons in the fire. I mean, you had 500 on the Jays, I'm pretty sure, in the wild card series. So where are you at? Are like, did you let, did you throw an iron in the fire or what? Well, sir, fucked me over. Ryan Sura, why? Because I put a shit ton of money on his fucking play of the year. Yeah. Oh, the Sharks. Yeah. I mean, you can't. That it's... that never had a chance, by the but way. But that... he was he's the coldest gambler on earth. And then he blacked out Friday night, which we told him to do. He thinks <laughs> it's the great reset. We're ready to get back. 
Because he threw December 15th, we think, is when everything changed because we had the company party and he blacked out at the OB house and threw up all over the floor. So we we were like freaky Friday. And he was hottest, he was the hottest gambler, right? After that? No, and then he got cold and and then he got cold. So I I'm I've been kind of split, man, like on who to take in this game. I think I'm just gonna bet who I want to win at this point because I feel like it's pretty even. I don't really have a tell on like I I really think this team's gonna beat because I think the Chiefs are gonna I think there's a better chance the Chiefs fuck the Eagles than the Eagles fuck the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs will make it a game no matter what. So uh that's my tell. So I guess I'm leaning towards betting the Chiefs, but but yeah, that's that's where my head's at. I I don't I don't know where this game lies, but People are not going to listen to this because the game's going to already happen by the time this drops. So I'll just give a prediction right now. Um, I went two and zero last week or two weeks ago. Let's not forget that Avery was the only one that lost on this panel. What did took I the lose? Niners. You lost. You took the Niners. Did remember? I? Yeah. Well, sorry, um, I didn't take into account the quarterback tearing his UCL. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I'm going to say the Chiefs win on a last second field goal to win by two at the, it's a 49 yarder from Harrison Butker. Kelsey gets 130 yards with two touchdowns and Jalen hurts throws two picks. Nice. Okay. I can tell you everything that I've bet today. If you want to hear that. And let's, yeah, let's hear it. Then we'll have the listeners roast us like they did on that one. Okay. Where, like Johnny's just the worst gambler ever. I have 16 plays in the super bowl. What uh, the fuck? Yeah. I got there's there's some things that I like. There's some things that I don't like. I think the Chiefs win. Um, I'm a Chiefs fan, of course. So I think that the Eagles really haven't played many people this year. And Jalen Hurts sprained AC joint. Maybe you get some pressure on him. He's like 28th in the league against pressure. It says I only have three bets open. That's just not true because I bet the golf and I bet tennis like a fucking bozo. Yeah. Um, okay. We start with. Um, Boston Scott under eight and a half rushing yards. Then That's go, a cr- what the fuck. Then we go first play of the game rushing attempt minus one thirty. Color dead. of Gatorade orange. The Chiefs won a bunch of years ago. They dumped orange on their coach. Um, oh fucking Kraken are winning. Let's go, dude. Um, over one and a half Jake Elliott field goals. That one seems free. That feels free. That, that feels must be, free. That must okay. be bad odds. Then I have a right? plus 400 parlay of Jalen Hurts, one passing TD, Kadarius Tony under 54 and a half yards, Miles Sanders under 84 and a half yards, Mahomes 30 attempts, Mahomes under 300 yards, Sky Moore three plus receiving yards. Okay. <laughs> These are fucked. Juju Smith Schuster under 35 and a half yards. That's a good play. There's a That's... lot of unders here, Abe. Holy fuck. Yeah, you can't take them all. I took Chiefs and over 49 and a half plus 240. So you uh, contradicted yourself. What? Kind of. Why? No, there's just so many bodies. Isaiah Pacheco over 16 and a half receiving yards. Travis Kelsey anytime touchdown. Miles Sanders first touchdown score. Kenneth Gainwell over 19 and a half rushing yards. And that's all I got. Okay. They just all all of those plays just lost, by the way. Yeah, they all just our listeners are like our there's our listeners are what they're doing is they're like a uh they're pausing the pod after every play and they're like, All right, uh that lost, that lost, that yep. lost. Juju went for one fifty, that lost. <laughs> yeah, well we'll see. I'm excited. I mean, I don't really care as much for the Super Bowl as I, I guess used to, maybe. I, I I don't know. I don't really care for I mean the halftime show is gonna be sick though. Rihanna just has bangers. Yeah, she like we were she's, playing. She's bad too. I was on the Ox, um, at the at the wedding. I was at the Ox. I was on the Ox, sorry, and I was just letting Rihanna sing, and the the bridesmaids were loving it. It was all day. I I think the go to great tracks. The the go to Rihanna song and San and the Sandman. Shout out Sandy is with Ti. Like if they open up with "Live Your Life." That you stadium so? might explode. No. no, I don't think they're going to open up with that. The they Calvin are. Harris. Track? Do you think there's going to be? Uh, is there any talks about that being a like a someone joining her? I, I haven't heard team. any talks, but I've heard that uh, diamonds to it. end it, and then fuck, I forget what the first song is. It's been leaked already. What? First song has been leaked. Yeah. What do you mean it's been leaked? People who work <laughs> in the uh, in the venue. 
Um, where is it here? That's so sick. Do you have it? Because I we should just bet it, become millionaires. Yeah, pay I, off don't, our debt. I don't know if you can. Fuck, we had it here. I it was in my group chat. I saw. Yeah, but um, Rihanna forever, man. Rihanna forever. She is a queen. I think she had a kid actually too. But... Yeah, she did. ASAP Rocky, Rocky's kid, right? Damn, they be fucking. Damn. Yeah, that's probably a great looking kid. Holy shit. Yeah, it really is. But uh, yeah, I'm pumped for it, man. Obviously. This will be the last podcast we do without baseball activities going on. That's all. I cannot. I am just hands down my pants, lotioned up, thinking about bullpen videos of guys just throwing 75% bullpens and just spotting up. And then being in the best shape of their life and stuff. Like that first Kikuchi bullpen is going to hit different. Because he's He's going to hit a reporter. He's going to hit a reporter for his bullpen. (laughs) Yeah. He's going to. Yeah, that's going to be something something brand new. But I'm pumped for it, man. And uh, World Baseball Classic roster came out. Team Canada with one of the worst teams I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. A couple of my OBJ teammates are on that, uh, are on the team. That aren't, that aren't RJ. Noah Naylor. Yeah, RJ, RJ and Noah Skiro. Yeah, that's Noah Skiro is a wild pick for that team, but whatever. He's good. He's in the Philly system. He's He's actually really good now. We'll see. I should have been there after that live BP <laughs> fucking session I just had. But yeah. Anyways, boys. I mean, this is this do was a have, fun. Do you have a pick in the World Baseball Classic? Japan. That's just see. If you I don't take I, Japan. You're an idiot. I bet Japan too. I bet Japan and the Dominican Republic because I think they'd have to play each other in the semis. Not, okay. The That's U.S. pitching future. staff isn't good. No, Logan Webb. Well, disavow that. I disavow that. Logan Webb's my guy. Sure. Um, you can have Musgrove, one guy. You know what's crazy is Musgrove told me. He turned down three team offers. Mexico offered him, Italy offered him, and USA. So how sick is that? That's cool. The the so, Italy team has a bunch of Americans. You could have yeah. played on that team, remember? Five well, definitely. Are you could've. gonna did you talk to Mike Piazza yeah, about that? They they're coming to Toronto. Um I don't have equipment to do like a in person podcast. I was like, just we do it over Zoom, but we'll figure something out. But uh yeah, no, anyways, man. I mean we're snapping it around this episode. I mean, JR, 20-minute fashion to be late, which is fine. Um, My bad. We have tickets and see? a hotel for St. Louis, right? Yeah. You awesome. fucking guys, man. Yeah. We'll be we there. Had, well, we had an inside source, JR. Yeah, we'll Ooh. be there. Ooh, um, I, Landon Jackson, shout out to I'm him. Gonna say when this, is I, that game? April? Last last week of March. First no, week it of might April. be March. First game. Yeah. Holy fuck, dude. I might fucking be there. No way. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if JR makes yeah. an appearance. We'll talk. Yeah, Johnny, no. Johnny thinks it's wild we're going to Mexico, by the way. You think it's wild? He just he he wouldn't do it. Why? I'm a Canada. I'm a you, I'm a North America body. I've never left Canada or the what? US. I'm a North America body. You gotta man. Explore, dude. Mexico I go is to North America. Really yeah, oh, that, no. oh my god, oh, Johnny. No. Oh my fucking god! That's oh, bad. No. I actually I didn't even think about that at first, too. Oh fuck! All right, that's our sign to fucking end this shit. All right, buckle the fuck up, man. I mean, we are here. I mean, it pit not here. Here, I mean, it's still two months till opening day. Actually, I don't know. I didn't do the math on that, but um, we're here. I mean, pitchers, catchers report, and we're gonna get you say videos. We're gonna get Mitch White videos coming out. Gossman videos. I'm pumped for it. Um. We're, I mean, this is what I'm talking about, man. Holy fuck, it's been a long offseason. Thank but God we have, the offseason's all over. Thank God. Thank God. But, I mean, we, we've been snapping it around. This, um, this is, I'm going to say it. If you don't, Avery tweeted this. If you don't bet the Jays to win the AL East, you're a fucking moron. Yeah. You're a fucking fool. You're a fucking fool. I'll say that. It's like plus but, 200, man, if you hate money. Also, shout out to everyone for the love on the Mitch White pod. I guess yes, that was last week. That, was, that got a lot of hits. You love to see it. Um. The downloads, like I, you, I love. I mean, I love these listeners. We're man. at you guys are... we're at a hundred thousand downloads in less than a year. Is that good? Is that yeah. good, Blair and Barker? Is that good? Yeah, no, it, it's great. We got a good thing going here. We're gonna keep going. The vlogs are gonna be great. I will be buying the mics. So someone DM'd us about like buying these mics that you can just clip onto us and it like connects to your phone Bluetooth. So, um, the camera guy will be there. We'll, we'll get we will be getting him a camera guy shirt. It's gonna say camera guy on the back, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be electric. So. Stay tuned this year. Pitchers and catchers report. 
we have actual baseball activities. That's not fucking Jays Fest happening this week, boys. So buckle up. Enjoy Super Bowl Sunday um, and get after it. Have a couple beers. I will not be partaking in that. I'll be dead sober. <laughs> but um, I do I do hope you guys enjoy the weekend, man, and let's fucking go. Big season coming up here. We got a World Series parade to fucking to plan for. Let's go. Anything else, Jared? Any other last words? Let's ride, boys. <laughs> Russ Wilson. <laughs>